Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Kimbo here, and this video is sponsored by uh, the Baku Nerds. And oh crap, I just dropped it. Son of a monkey truck, I, I guess. I don't know, but yeah, this is from the Baku Nerds. Uh, you know, because Bailey's freaking awesome and helped me out uh, getting some stuff. So yeah, if you haven't checked out the Baku Nerds channel, definitely do so because they make awesome content. And what are you doing? Like, go and do it. Like, yeah, check out the channel. But yeah, priority mail. Yeah, no wonder this got here so quick. <laughs> like, I was talking to her, and, you know, she shipped it out. It cost, like, a little bit to ship because, like, it's going all the way across the country because, you know, from Cali to New York is expensive. But, yeah, it literally got here in one day. I don't know how she was like, what? Like, how How even? I'm like, I don't know, man. It got here, like, I talked to her on, like, Friday. It got here Saturday, but I couldn't get it until today because, like, the post office was closed, and I didn't know I had stuff. But that's besides the point. We got this, man. So... We got some Bakugan! Oh! <laughs> man, got some Wave 8! It's crazy how much they're putting out, man. Like I said, I'm, I'm definitely thinking they're going to uh, 10 waves with this, you know, for this series. They're going to 10 waves, and then they're just going to probably start it off as, like, Armored Alliance Wave 1 and stuff. And, yeah, man, I can't... I can't wait to see how like armored alliance is but we're getting so much awesome stuff for battle planet dude so uh, i don't know eeny meeny miny you're you're going okay here we go <laughs> okay but we've got this awesome bakugan starter pack so we got a three pack wave eight three pack featuring arliss scorporos ultra dude i don't have like scorporos ultra this is my first one and i mean i have the regular scorporos but like the ultra it looks so cool man it's funny that they waited so long to put out scorporos too because they showed off the rowdy reds like you know the the young kids that have their scorporoses um they showed them off like towards the beginning of the season and you know they waited till now to put out the actual figure because they knew it would probably be like that awesome and i mean they're not wrong it looks really really sick so yeah, man. Arliss Corporos Ultra. It looks like that is, uh, I figured out. Is that a darkest? What is it? Well, it's a darkest something, obviously, but I honestly don't know. It's like, no, it's not Mantanoid. Hmm. But, yo, oh, that is, that is Ventus Hydranoid. Okay. All right, dude, there's Hydranoid in here. I'm hyped. <laughs> Let's go, man. Hydranoid is one of my favorite cores. But yeah, so, Arliss Corporos. Oh, it's Darkest Tertonium! That's what it is! Wow, dude. Okay, that's that's how we're getting it. Hype. Okay, so, it comes with one Ultra, two Bakugan, six cores, three ability cards, three character cards, one instruction sheet, and then the rules sheet, of course. So, yeah, this should have the most updated uh, list in here, so I will show off this one because, you know, they've added more figures and, you know, Scorpius Ultras is out now. I don't know if they put any more on the list, but, yeah, because they've had them all shown for, like, some time. All right, get those out of there, and then I... Jeez, I'm a dork. There we go. Now... Push it out. Ow. Jeepers. Alright. And then get the card. Then gotta get the two cores out. And boom. Alright, man. So let me just get these cards out of here. We're gonna look at the list first thing, I guess. Because why not in this light Jeepers? Alright, there we go. I put up some boxes. I have some boxes out here blocking out the sun, so that's a bit better. But yeah, alright. Here we go. <clears throat> Let's see this list. All right, and dude, holy crap. Yeah, they've just, like, you know, it's all the same Bakugan, because this is all the Bakugan that are coming out with this season, you know. It's sad because Tico's not on here. Spin Master, oh, you're not going to make Tico. Like, it's so cool. Or at least, like, whatever species Tico is. Like, I get if, like, his name's Tico because he's contaminated right now. But if he gets cleansed or such at the end of the season, I'm spoiling a little bit of the show. Sorry, guys. But, like, if he does and it's just, like, whatever, like, race of Bakugan he is, like, yeah, you should make it for Armored Alliance because I like Tico a lot. Yeah, also Apollyon. <laughs> They're both really, really cool. But, yeah, man, they definitely added more factions to all the Bakugan in here. So... Yeah, that's that's the overall list, man. That's how many Bakugan are out for the first season. It's pretty wild. It's pretty dang crazy, man. But yeah, all right. So get this plastic strip off of that. Get out of here. And then let's look at the cores that come with these Bakugan. It looks like there's a lot of yeah, man. There's like four shields and two fists. Okay, so we got uh, minus one hundred Bs for that shield. Got another shield. For plus 400 if it's Pyrus or Darkest, that's nice. That's definitely the one that comes with uh, with Hydranoid. 
And then we got another one, plus 150. Another shield, plus 400 for Aquas or Ventus. These, ki these kinds of cores, like, you know, with just those two factions in a deck. Really, really useful. Plus 50 and plus 2 for the Fist. And then plus 3 for the other Fist. Alright, so now it's time for the Bakugan. So, you know, I'll get into Scorpros last because, like, this is my first one. Alright, so we're going to roll out the cores. So, we got... Uh, Tertonium and Hydronoid here, you know, that's how you know, like, you're a big fan when you start seeing, like, the ball form of it, and you're like, yeah, man, I know exactly what's in there, just looking at it. It's how I used to be with the old series, and I've definitely gotten to that point with Battle Planet. I love it. <laughs> but, yeah, I guess I'll roll out Darkest Tertonium first, so here we go. And, yo, that open, though. Is it strong enough to pick up two? Oh, it tries. It tries to, but, nah, it probably just has one on it, and... Yeah, boom. Nice, nice one. But here it is, man. Darkest Tertonium. Looking so, so cool. Darkest Core Tertonium. So look at that. The green eye. It's got the green underneath its chin. Uh, so much black. A little bit of purple on the shell. And a little bit of green on the feet. Just looks so sick and darkest, man. You guys already know I'm a darkest and Arliss brawler. So, yeah, man. Anyways, let's see. It's really simple to close it. You know, just the head, the tail, and then you push them together. And there you go. All right, so next up, we've got Ventus Hydronoid, the core Hydronoid. Looking so awesome, man. Like, Hydronoid, I, I like it a lot, and it opened by itself. Epic fail, fail, fail. All right, man, here we go. Let's try this again. And, oh, it opened, but it rolled off screen. And I just, yeah, it's all good, man. But there it is. Ventus Hydronoid. It looks so sick with the Ventus, you know, all the green, a little bit of lime green for the chest plate, and also the, uh, the yellow right there, and then got a little bit of yellow and lime green on the feet, and then the back. That looks so sick, man, and its B power is 400, so not bad at all. All right, and, ah, man, yeah, sometimes mess up, like closing Hydronoid, you gotta get all the heads first, otherwise, like, it won't close, so, yeah, or the, ah, the... Yeah, that's also one of the things with it. Sometimes it just pushes it out. Like, it pushes the head out, the foot does. There we go. And then on the other side, of course it did. <laughs> Hydronoid's trolling, man. I like it a lot, but it's trolling right now. All right. And then did I did I put the... <sighs> I forgot to put the tail in. It's all good. All right. Here we go. There we go. And then the head. And then boom. There you go. <laughs> but... Uh, there's Ventus, Hydronoid looking so, so sick. I really like Hydronoid in the ball form. It looks so, so cool. And obviously having the five heads, like, you know, I mean, Hydra, you, you know, I, I got a custom bay for it. <laughs> like, I like Hydras. But, yeah, man. Then, last but not least, we have this awesome Arliss Scorporos Ultra, dude. So, the claws go out way, way more, and then it's got the back claws as well. And then, of course, the Stinger on it. Definitely looking like a big-time scorpion, and it looks so, so awesome, dude. All that gold, all that silver, and also, like, the head right there. They're using that, and, yeah, definitely spring-loaded. There's a strong spring right in there, and then back there, too. But, yeah, dude, let's see. Where's the B power at on this thing? Um, Not the claw. Oh, there it is. Okay. Sev. Wow. Okay. <laughs> 700. Yeah, yikes. This thing's going to be a boss straight out of the gate. 700 B power. Arliss. And I mean, Arliss is already pretty dang strong. So, yeah, man. It's going to be good. Hopefully. I don't know how, like, its Evos are going to be, though. So, yeah. Just Age of Arliss. Obviously, we'll see it. But let's see how we close this thing. Got those. Got that. Fold that in. And then full. Really? What? <laughs> I, I got it, like, first try. Not bad. All right. Just got to, like, adjust a couple things. There we go. But, yeah, I literally got it first try. What was the difficulty of Clinton? I didn't even see it. What's the challenge level? Two. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. I'm just, wow, got that first try without even knowing. Okay. So, now it's time to look at the cards, man. So, we got Ventus Hydronoid here. B-Power 400 damage of 5. Double shield so this would be definitely good in the shield deck scorporos ultra man 701 uh you know it has the two uh regular fists i like that because it keeps it more balanced and such because you know uh the regular fist isn't as strong but still really really useful they did the same thing with uh phaedrus so 
Yeah, man, but that artwork of Scorpros looks so, so sick. It looks like it's by a school or something. Maybe just, like, another one of the Rowdy Reds or something. Well, not the Rowdy Reds, you know. <laughs> their brother or something, their cousin, or another kid in the room that, <laughs> you know, plays Bakugan. I don't know. But, yeah, man. Then we got Tertonium, 208. Yo, that damage, though. Crazy damage for this uh, Tertonium. And also Double Shield. So, you know, both of them would probably be good in a Double Shield deck. And it would be diverse, too. Try making, like, a damage out of it, too. That would be pretty awesome. And then, yo, Age of Ireland's card got Avalanche. All right. Plus 200. And if you played a card uh, from three different factions this turn, you get plus 800 instead. That's that's pretty cool, man. So, obviously, like I said, Arliss having big influence over, like, the other factions and such. So, they have some abilities of, like, all the other factions on top of their own, you know, just with their presence. But, yeah, man. Then we got what? In the name of Turkey. Bruh. <laughs> okay, that got me shook real quick. Maximus Hydronoid Ultra. Definitely an AA card. Eight to get it out, which, you know, granted, and you know, with, uh, you know, with Ventus, shouldn't be too bad. But B power of 2200. <laughs> The highest B-Power I've ever seen on a card, man. That's nuts. That's crazy. B-Power 2200, damage of 1. But yeah, it doesn't have much damage with it, so... Yeah, but still, that is nuts. What? Bruh. That's, that's crazy. That's some crazy power, man. And then Darkest Blast, plus 1200 Bs. Alright. And yeah, that artwork right there, Nilius, looks really, really cool. So last but not least, time to get into this roll. Let's see. Gotta see how this thing opens. Actually, I'll back it up a little bit. I learned my lesson with Hydronoid. All right, here we go. Just pull the Jet Kuso on it. Just single finger. Yeah, three, two, one. Bakugan bro, and yo, dude, that was sick. It opens perfectly. It's a flashy opener, man. Heck yeah. It just landed so perfectly. Just jumps and just plants. And that's also probably why they made this design like this. So when you know, opens, it's definitely going to make it. It's barely ever going to, like, land like this or something. That's that's sick. Big prop spin, Master. This is awesome. But, yeah, man, so that is everything for this unboxing on this awesome, awesome Bakugan Battle Planet. Arliss Scorporos Ultra 3-Pack. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, until next time, it is your boy, Kimbo, signing off. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay awesome. And Bakugan Brawl! I'm up out of here. Dude, this, this pack got me shook already.